We're going to take a look at the loop deck today and how to add a custom action. In this case, we're going to add a web page, which is pretty easy to do in this setup. The stream deck is basically intended to be a tool to make um, it more easy to navigate while you're streaming or doing other actions. You could even use it in a Zoom meeting or while you're working to just be more efficient. So we have some custom actions already set. I can create a workspace and you can create as many workspaces as you want and that's what you set to these buttons down here. So each button addresses a different workspace. So here we're gonna create a button for a web page called Theme Link. And so I'm gonna click on it and do web page. And we'll go ahead and just call this Theme Link. And then the next thing we need is the actual website address. So I'm going to just pull that up. And we're going to copy and paste it right into the line and hit create. So right now it's just gonna give us a default button. It doesn't really have like a custom button quite yet. There are two options we could do. We could click on this icon and choose from the icon library. There are some that they offer. They're not going to be uh, the default icon for that application necessarily, but we can choose one from any of these pre-made packs. If you want to create your own custom icon, it is a couple more steps. In this case, I have already created an icon library for myself in here, and there is a thing link little banner icon that I created. So to do that, I'm going to click on this option right here, and I'm actually gonna go to Windows C, Users, pick my username and then click on desktop and icon library. There's a couple extra steps we have to do just because of permissions, but this will give you access to that folder that is on the desktop. So I'm going to select thing link and then we can drag it to recenter it and then hit save and then save again. So now here is our new ThingLink button and on the device itself you will see the button update to reflect this action. And now when we click on the button on the loop deck, the website automatically opens. 